So uh, this is from Wednesday night, Thursday. So my my parents, siblings, and siblings were moved into a nice apartment. It seemed very rich and distant from the poor neighborhood I was used to. There's open space and hills and other apartments in the short distance. Our apartment was facing another section of the hills. There's an area near the neighbor, neighborhood uh, living room where they were playing loud music. I thought, I thought even moving into this nice area, it is just my luck to be next, next to another <laughs> group of stupid people. I thought since the living room was, was where the noise was, we could tolerate it. And it won't be so bad if we slept in the bedroom that was away from it. There were these three people walking down uh, below from the hill area. It looked like it looked like parents and a child. And I think they were done with their walks and heading home. My younger brother decided to go hunting, I think. He took his gun. As he walked away with the gun, I didn't have a very good feeling. I was watching from the house above and saw that he was shooting at things randomly, like shooting in the bushes, shooting the water, shooting up the sky. I saw the woman started crying and skipping around and grabbing her leg. I was thinking she couldn't have gotten hit by a bullet. I, I thought, how, how could he not see them? The husband got really upset and ran over to console her, and then he disappeared, went under the house towards my, where my brother was. I can hear some scuffling, scuffling and I see them come from under the house, arguing and fighting. I was still watching from above, from above. I was hoping after a while they both would stop fighting and walk away. I slowly walked down to where they were to get closer to them. As, and then as they fell in the water, they continued to struggle. The man was able to get a saw and somehow sliced my brother's face in half. Mm. It was shocking as it happened so fast. I was standing there, not intervening, doing nothing to stop any of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> How would you go? Joy? Mm. Do that again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brad? I'm not, okay. I'm not sure. Elder? Uh, I'm still... Huh? I'm still going. Okay. Actually, mm. actually can, can we reverse? Sure. <laughs> I, I would go... Um, I didn't have a very good feeling. Okay. Barbara? I, I don't know yet. Virginia? I like that one. Virginia? Please. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought uh, I didn't have a very good feeling, but also the one in the second paragraph where uh, we could tolerate it. Okay. Respond, please. <laughs> what was that feeling like? Read it again. Uh, that one sentence? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, is it the second paragraph, is it? It's the third. Third? Okay. My younger brother decided to Mm. Oh yeah, so my younger brother decided to go hunting, I think. He took his gun. As he walked away with the gun, I didn't have a very good feeling. What was that feeling like? Come on. Mm. Just kind of seeing an accident that's about to happen More. and, and not, not, not saying something. Not no, no. Where did it hit you, that feeling? Hmm. I think right here. <laughs> Go ahead, more. Come on. Um, the, uh, upper chest down throat, right? Yes. It's Go like ahead. come on. Life it's like it's going to come out. Like it, it has to come out, but <laughs> but I I didn't say anything. I kind of feel like my my. My words wouldn't matter. Any, wouldn't matter. I feel like.
Um, I also feel like, uh, like, like it's common sense, you know, like, you know, that gun causes trouble or could kill people. Um, but I also... The, but the effect it had on you is interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like my words wouldn't matter, <clears throat> right? Uh, like I, I have to come out, but you grab your throat mm -hmm. and chest, right? Mm -hmm. Like what? Like, like, well, <laughs> I guess, like, like it wouldn't mean it. Like it would fall off the wall, or it just goes into a deaf person's ear, and I. Um, maybe if you were to paint that state of mind what image would you have? of me in that state? yeah I like an well like an invisible person like a ghost watching something happen like, yeah like, like uh, but that feeling is missing it, uh, yes um I don't know. Well, uh, you're familiar with it. You're going through gestures right now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah so you're familiar with that state right now. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have to ask you for a better description. Uh, yeah. Where does that state of mind go, sir? Back, back, back. Where back, oh yeah, my gosh. I, I don't know. I've never seen it, I don't think. That's it. That's it. See, what's at stake is you had an intuition of what might happen. Mm -hmm. So this, whatever you're going through, chokes your intuition and blocks you from revealing what you're seeing. Mm. Right? You're a seer. You're a seer, right? And you see something, and then that feeling comes in, and it blocks you from doing anything with it. Right. And you then... Ah, oh, my words wouldn't matter anyhow. Mm. Right? How old is that state? How old is it? <laughs> That's real. I, I don't know. I, I, uh, I want to say really young. Yeah. I want to say four or something. Yeah, but go ahead. There's a lot of... Um, I can't pinpoint any uh, specific scene, but we were always... <laughs> we were always not to say anything because we were in the, the, you know, the, the Khmer Rouge genocide, so we would just pretend to be stupid and be silent. That way hey. you survive. Right, <laughs> pretend to be stupid. That's right. That's survival. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Right, that's survival. That was the family, that's what they taught. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't create waves. Right? Oh yeah, and then you draw attention to yourself if you, if you speak up. Right, 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 right. And what about that? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. It, it, uh, I mean, the, it was a whole country, pretty much. <laughs> It was the, the family and then the country, the, the area. The whole culture yeah. during yeah. this, right? right? So this is a cultural pathologos mm -hmm. that your family lived with, <coughs> lived through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Powerful, isn't it? Yeah. But all it's going to take is for you to get out of your country. <laughs> I did, but... <laughs> 
That's all. <laughs> what is he going to say? What if you were to sit down with him and you would say, hey, you know what? And tell him. From now on, go ahead. From now on, <clears throat> from now on, uh, we need to learn to speak up and point things out. And what will they do? What kind of reaction do you think you'll get from the crowd? They might kind of fidget a little bit or kind of turn away. Yeah, you'll be alone. They'll, maybe they might come around after a while, but... Yeah. Alien. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. From another planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think they all suffer the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, but, mm, I thought I kind of got over that, I think. No, no, see. <laughs> and, uh, the question is now, why are you having it, since you know this? Right. Right. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I haven't been practicing or using it? I don't know. Uh, talk about your brother. Oh, the one with the gun? No, talk about your brother. Uh, what kind of a person is he? He's, he's like a reactionary person that do things, decides to do things, and then does it. Um, and I, I think <clears throat> he doesn't, doesn't take warning well. Um, who is that in your life today? <laughs> does not, who, does not? Well, he's reactionary. Uh, he just uh, does things and uh, he doesn't want to take warnings or, or suggestions mm -hmm. or... Who is that in your world like today? Anyone? It could be like a work, uh, you mean like a, a work mate or... I don't care. Who is that person? Come There's on. a lot of those people. <laughs> give me, hey, give me the one that's bugging you. That's most dangerous. Right? Well, <laughs> one of them is my boss. Yeah? How are you doing with, how are you doing with him? <laughs> <laughs> but but she, she's, I think, coming around a little bit. I have to be careful, you know. That's a dangerous person. Yeah. They, you have to be careful of that person. That's why it's in your dream. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and then because I know her behavior, when I talk with her, I kind of get... I'm not myself either, you know. It makes me yeah. second-guess my word choices. Mm -hmm. So, what is she? What? What is her history in dealing with other people? Well, from what I know, uh, her dad died young, um, and but her cultural norm is to kind of respect the man, uh, but she. But. But she's a woman in a power, a position of power. Yeah. But so I think she's in this conflict, you know. How do you see? What is her history with other people? And how long have you been with her? About four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does she do? What does she do to other workers? What's her history? Oh, I see. Uh, does she have a fire on it? Kind of secretive. Hey, did she ever fire any of them? Or get rid of any of them? No. I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? You've been there four years, you ought to know. He, uh, he, uh, no, no, she hasn't fired anyone. 
Oh, does she get rid of them one way or the other? Um, I, not yet. I mean, I think there's been like kind of hinting at it, like a scare tactic or something. Um, but I think it's a lot of not uh, what she's not saying is, and sharing to the with the employees is kind of what keeps them. Uh, obeying or not questioning their jobs? See, because the picture of your brother in your dream, mm -hmm. right? Maybe someone that you know, maybe not the boss, mm -hmm. but someone, the dream is saying, the implications of what this person is is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe it's not yeah. the boss. That's but good. no, no, see, it's dangerous to themselves. Oh, yes. Right, it'll end, it'll end up hurting the, the person, whoever you think that person is. It's going to hurt them by doing what they're doing. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. I think it's a couple of different people. I think it could be her too because okay. of uh, uh, the, the things I'm seeing. I'm, I'm trying to navigate it a little carefully. Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. Another one. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know you're next? Anybody else have one? Okay, so I guess it's me next. Where would you go? Boy, um, hmm. Well, I, I am wondering about the how you felt when you asked the administrator, what's the theme? Okay. Right. I, I would just ask, what's the goal, and if it was a success or failure? Hmm. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm interested in uh, her state of mind when she thought she couldn't talk and people would be talking instead of listening or listening and not mm -hmm. talking. Okay. Still reading. No. Sam? sure in a lot of things, like with the time, the seven or eight, should mm -hmm. I just pick one spot? Mm -hmm. um, but, okay, how does she feel when she was asked to go, and then when the other lady didn't think she would fit in to this evening? Well, I thought there was a theme of what's proper and fit, fit, right? But also, I have a question about a similar place in the paragraph one, two, three, four. At the end of the fourth paragraph, where um, she has a question and it does, and she doesn't ask it, mm -hmm. right? And that has implications for the sentences that follow. Sure. The only thing that um, that came up to me is um, what state of mind was she in throughout the dream? It mm -hmm. looks like she went. Um, Ups and downs. Mm. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Mm. Oh, oh. Say, uh, again, um, <clears throat> um, the second paragraph, third line, I paused. What was that line? 
Yeah. Other drink? Mm. At that moment in the dream? Well, I was surprised uh, by her asking me. And then I questioned whether um, she was serious or not. I was wondering if she was serious or not. She was. Um, Was it? Yeah. Uh, um, was she serious or not? I was surprised she asked because it was like a different level or different, a different. She was an administrator that was really high up, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. her to ask me was uh, okay. puzzling. Yeah. What was it like? Can you get that line about the subject, about the thing? Did you uh, read that? About the theme? Yeah. Uh, then I went up to the administrator and asked her what's the theme. Yeah. Well, it occurred to me that I didn't, rem I had accepted something and didn't know what I was going, why I was going or what was the purpose or why, you know, like. If she was going to ask me why, what should I wear? What, what's going to happen? What's the theme of the of the ball or gala? Okay, did she answer the question? What's the theme? Uh, she said it was a uh, on Queen Elizabeth. Be prepared on Queen Elizabeth. Well, I had to ask her a couple of questions to find out what she was talking about. Um. What did you find? And that she wanted me to prepare a speech on Queen Elizabeth. Let me ask it again. Did you get the theme or the, or the subject? Uh, oh, I got the subject. I didn't get the theme. Oh. Hmm. I don't, uh, uh, it was. Does that, does some, that, a lack of getting the theme Play itself out in the dream? I don't know. Well, then you have to figure out what you're going to say and, and the very alternatives. And figure out what I'm going to say? Uh, well, I ask her and I figure out what I'm going to say about Queen Elizabeth. So I don't know what you mean. Yeah, no, okay. Then you've made the theme for yourself about Queen Elizabeth. Right. right. Like there were going to be several, several five-minute state presentations on Queen Elizabeth. Does, does that add what I just concluded? Well, I, I don't know. So you... Uh, came to your own conclusion about what to talk about. Right. She said it was to be on the theme of Queen Elizabeth, and I said, okay, what am I going to talk about? She, a I asked her what she's going to talk about. And what she said. And she said she was going to talk about the Queen in, in relation to war, her experiences with war at, during the time of her, her, when she experienced any experiences she right. had in terms of war. Right. What did that do for you? I said, okay, then I'll have to think of something <coughs> that left me open to think about what my experiences were. 
about or what I knew about the queen. So I, I could pick. Oh. Um, notice we don't have yet from you um, whether you want it to go or not. We know you have a dress, you got shoes, you got a got a chalk. Did you want to be there? Did you want to do it? Well, uh, yeah, I said sure. Yeah, I said sure. Yeah, I'll do it. There, sure. Uh, uh, what, uh, I thought said yes, sure. Yeah. Okay. Did that mean? Did that mean? Therefore, that. Come on. Therefore, I was going. Yes. I agreed to go. And wanted to go. Come on, wanted to go. Yeah, there was a certain moment where I was surprised she asked. Uh, and felt honored by it. Felt bothered by it? Honored. Honored. Honored by it. Right. Well, the other people didn't like that. And does that give you any thoughts? Uh, no, because when she asked, she asked me, or when she turned to him and said, uh, she's my guest, that concluded their difficulty or their problems. For me, it did. It, for them, it didn't. But for me, it said, okay, she's okay. Um, what did that mean to you and the dream? To be said that I was okay? No. Oh. She's my guest. Uh, at that moment, it was like getting around the issue in a brief, subtly, I mean, it, it was okay, but she could have said, uh, I've decided that she's, she's going to come and forget that. What does that add, I want to know? But as a guest meant that I, that, well, um, that she was compromising for those who objected. She was compromising? Yeah. How was that compromising? Well, I'm not, I'm not, um, when she asked, it was a clear statement that I was um, a member, it, it could, or, or seen as a part of them. Clear headed, right? I was seen as a part of them, yeah. and it was very simple, and she, yeah. she said, do you want to go, and there was nothing. But when they objected, so, uh, she compromised and said, well, she's going to come at my guest why rather does than... does that compromise? Does that compromise? Why is that compromising? Um, well, she didn't... She didn't say that she's welcome. Oh, okay. It's like saying that I'm not on the same status as they are. That's saying you're not on the same. Uh, on the on the same that means status. That I'm. Not on the same size. Before, when she asked me, it was like very clear that it was we were all the same. There was no difference. So going back to what does that mean? You but see? she need she needs to say that I'm a guest. I don't know what it means other than what I said. <laughs> that. Um, See, you are that, that assuming moment. something about what this means. Uh, 
Well, I remember feeling kind of like let down at that moment. Mm -hmm. Let down when she said, I'm a guest. Before that, there was no question that I was fully invited. Not as a guest, but a natural part of an invitation. Well, like the rest of them. If, 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 uh, if anybody is introduced as their guest, what does that mean? Um, that they're not that. Neighbors? Uh, well, I don't know. In the mean, in the in the dream, or what does it mean? I don't. Okay, ask it again. What state of mind was she in when she gave that statement? Well, I remember the first part, which was I. The lady turned to them and said, "I can decide who can come." She was very simple, very direct, and straightforward. Um, when she added, I've decided she can come as my guest, it was like, I just, it was like unnecessary. It wasn't needed. You see, others didn't like that. Right. But this overcame their objection. They must have seen something in that statement. Well, uh, yes, that she, they couldn't refute her, that I was her guest. Therefore, they must be seeing something about that remark. Gosh. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. That being included in the guest, as a guest, that I couldn't be, couldn't be they couldn't be refuted. Well, she had, she had, um, she was above everybody. And if she wanted to invite a guest, that was her prerogative. That's not the issue. But I don't, I mean. This settled them. Yep. Right? Yep. Therefore, let me ask it again. When she said that, what state of mind did you see her in? Commanding. Commanding? Commanding. Commanding, right? More. Um, commanding in that she was addressing all these objections that they, there was presented to her. So she was commanding, taking then, responsibility. Then that statement overcomes all of their objections. The whole of that. No. All of what she said no. overcame it, yes. No. 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 Yeah. And you don't think that that's... Uh, well, it, some colleague relationship that might develop or has or is... Colleague relationship? Well, oh. not on the same status or so. Well... You... Therefore, come commanding, clear. Very well. Clear. She's clear. She's clear hair. She's very clear hair. Yeah, very clear. Very clear about what she had asked about, who she was asking. I mean, they couldn't object to her. Period. That was just the way it was going to happen. What would be different? She's my, she's a fellow worker. She's a fellow worker. She's a worker in my unit. I want her to talk. What difference does that statement make? I guess I'm not getting something. Um, yeah, well, that's the same question. What would happen if she put in some other word for guest? That's all. She's my... Fellow worker. Or something like that, yeah. Um... Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, well, a guest is an invitation. I mean, it means an, you're you're invited. You've been given a an invitation. 
and it's by the head person who's inviting you. It's not some of the other people who have invited me, oh. who would have been below her. Um, so there could be many others that were going to give him talks that she wouldn't call her guest. That's right. Oh, so that must mean something to what you're just coming to. Uh, well, it's not... Uh, the other people would have been part of the group, but I was invited because I wasn't a, mum, a, a natural member of the group. I mean, like it was like all these cla this class of people that was having this ball. They were each going to give a speech, and but I was, as far as I know, I was the only guest. I was not among that group. I agree with you. Okay. Always. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't mind leaving. Mm -hmm. Leaving what? Well, we don't know what that means. That. What does it mean? Yeah. I don't know. She said. And then um, recognition. Have you ever gone to a, a conference and the leader of the conference introduces no. someone else as their guest? Is no. It, now you're going to hear from a, a guest of them. What status are they gaining with uh, that introduction? Oh, um. <laughs> Well, it would be a very, uh, for her, it would be like uh, very high. Oh, oh. <laughs> what does that do to the dream? I don't know. <laughs> better, you better know. You said it. Well, it puts me as somebody that would be what she would perceive to be on the same or close to the same level as herself. They're having trouble holding on to that. Yeah, I don't know if that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's why you're having the dream. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why you're having the dream. Oh. Oh. Interesting. What you're saying is you're not, you're not in the same status. Right. Oh, Where? I see. But my interpretation of guest is... Yeah, it would be Looks like... Looks like you're getting out of the uh, chicky jacky people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. Is that right? Oh, yeah, that would be out of the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you have change? Yeah, you can read it aloud from me. Action, 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 Jackson. So I go, sorry everybody, I just transcribed this right before, right as we got here. So no copies. So, <laughs> so I go with my friends to the hospital to get checked out. And while they're waiting, my friends are sitting at the counter and working on some stuff. 
texts or writing or something, there are two of my friends and maybe they're leaning over and reading or writing something on the counter while they wait. So the hospital gives me an initial exam while I wait for the doctor. You know, the usual initial things, blood pressure, pulse stuff. And I describe to the nurse my history and how I had had GERD or acid indigestion for all these years and then I had the surgery for it and then I took medicine then I had an SSRI for anxiety but then the GERD got worse so as I explain it though I'm confused and I can't really be clear with her about the GERD and why the surgery didn't help because if I had had surgery then it should have helped and also how did the SSRI relate to the GERD too? I, I wasn't clear on it myself as I was telling her. So anyway, as I'm talking with her, I remember that my pants are still down from the exam. So I pull them back up sort of casually as I'm still talking. And I'm sort of proud of myself for not making that any more embarrassing than it had to be. And so I give her the whole history and she well, I think to myself that I'm telling her too much. That I should be telling this stuff to the doctor, not the admitting nurse. But I keep going, anyway, why do I do this? Even though she probably has work to do. But she's kind and doesn't seem impatient to hear it and listens and takes it all in. And then she mentions the doctor's name, Dr. D, and I realize that I recognize him and that he's the same doctor that had worked on my mom. And then I turn over to my left and I can see him talking with the other doctors from behind the nurse's station. And I realize, oh, I'm going to get the, si the same doctor. That's kind of nice. So she goes away, the nurse, and I go back to the desk where my friends are working or waiting for me. And I have all my mom's things spread out over the counter next to them, next to my friends. And then I lean against the counter next to my friends and I'm trying to work on organizing all my mom's things, all her stuff. And I wonder whether Dr. D when he comes over, whether he'll recognize my mom's things or that I am my mom's son and remember her. And I realized that I should have looked him up ahead of time and remembered what he did for me or for my mom in the past. And I should have been prepared so that I wouldn't be embarrassed for not remembering him and more of the details about him. And also, the same with the earlier doctor that I had been describing or talking about to the nurse. I should have re-familiarized re myself about him, too, from my notes or from my address book beforehand. After all, I knew I'd be going to the hospital wh where these people are and I'd be seeing them again. And then I think to myself that I could put in a greater effort in general to just remember people that I have met in life so that when I run into them again, even when it's by surprise, I'm not so embarrassed for not remembering them or their name or their details, and neither are they. Also, as I lean up against the counter, I briefly think, should I lean on the counter and be uh, standing here while he sits in the chair below me? Or maybe I should be sitting in the chair so that he can lean on the counter because after all, he's the doctor, and he should be higher than me. But I decide, well, I guess that ultimately I don't care. And I'm just going to continue standing, leaning against the counter, and he can do whatever he wants. And also, I see one of my mom's notebooks. Troublemaker. I see one of my mom's notebooks that I have spread out on the counter. Um, and I... I put it up on another shelf above the counter. Apparently, I'd, I'd put it up there on, on a second shelf. And I wonder why I put it there. 
because her notebook's not down on the counter with my friend's things and my things and the rest of her things. And if I had not noticed that I had put my mom's notebook up there on the shelf just now, that then whenever I collected everything and got everything back together to leave, I could have left it there because I would have forgotten it. So I'm glad I caught that I had moved it up there. That's it. Read the third paragraph. <clears throat> so number three is, and as I explain it, I am confused, and I can't really be clear with her about the GERD and why the surgery didn't help. Because if I had had surgery, then it should have helped. And also, how the SSRI related to the GERD too, I wasn't clear myself. Were any of those points, the points you discussed with the uh, interviewee, the doctor? I had not yet spoken with the doctor. No, no, you were being interviewed, were you not? By the admitting nurse, yes. Sure. And so what I'm, yes, so what I'm saying here is in, chap, in paragraph three, what I'm saying is even as I'm explaining it to her, I'm having questions. I can see my lack of clarity I have, and that I have questions <coughs> on, on the very thing that I'm explaining to her Are you telling as me I say it. That attending position? No, to the nurse. No, the I'm, nurse. I'm not saying to her that I have Thank questions you. about it. Thank That's you. right. What does that mean? Um, What would happen if you put those into words with the nurse? Well, it's interesting. I, I have a dual answer for that, and I think one is a clear one and the other is a pathologos. <laughs> The clear one is, uh, obviously, it would give her more information. She herself might have those questions, and she could see that I'm, you know, everything would be out on the table. Uh, but the other side of me thinks, I'm already taking too much of her time. I don't want to go there. The doctor will ask. You're in a hospital. Yeah, but she's an admitting nurse, and Honestly, she doesn't need to know all this. I'm already well, talking too much. Is it likely that in hospitals they often do operations? Yeah. Oh. Are, you in a, are you in a place that uh, you have good experiences in the past with operations? I mean, yeah. I yes. G-E-R-D? Well, part of the problem is that when I woke up, I realized I've never had an operation for G-E-R-D. That's, okay. That's all right. And part of my confusion might have had to do with the fact that I had an operation for sleep apnea, but never for the stomach, never that's for okay. GERD. And well, that's, that's that was dream. precisely the problem in the dream. Yeah, I was dream. boggling it. It's a dream. Are you in a place where the outcome may be? Finish it. Positive? Is that what you're asking? Or the, the outcome may be surgery? Yeah, and you already have your doubts about the surgery. In the I past. see. Yeah, yeah, Is that yeah. right? Exactly. Oh. oh. And so, I, uh, yeah. Do you have any sense in the dream about uh, the outcome that your mother had with that same physician that you now have? Yes, my mom had to have, I think, at least three, maybe four operations on the same place in her heart. What did that mean? It meant they didn't, they didn't do it right the first two or three times. Oh, well, that's why you were... But it, what? <laughs> but it was a... What, what, what? Oh, by the way, yeah. uh, your mother had notebooks. She did. Yeah. Yeah, and you put one on top of all the other stuff, wondered about it, didn't you? I separated it and put it up on a shelf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why did I do that? Yep. Well, it might reflect on this very issue. Hmm. I'd like to see how. It's in your dreams. It's in the dream. How so? Well, it's her notebooks, and you have a, a discussion about what happened to your mother in that hospital with that doctor. Did you inquire what was in it, or did you read it to find out what was in it? 
No, I don't even know what the content was of yeah, it. Once you discovered it. I did not. I didn't. When I discovered it, I did not. I, I, in the dream, I only saw scribbling. I don't know what was in the notebook. Oh, oh, oh. What are these several questions do to your dream? Um, they show that I'm not speaking up and I'm not inquiring more. And I'm not actually what I'm, well, what I see running through the whole dream in all the, all the paragraphs is a lot of worry and self-doubt, but not communicating it or acting on it. And especially on that very vital issue. That is what you know about your mother's operation, and you're having the same doctor. Well, I know about her operations. Right. And you're going to have the same doctor. Does that mean something to you in the dream? As you reflect on it, what do you think? I don't want to have the same doctor. Oh. But the thing is, well, now you're asking me to reflect outside the dream which we couldn't do before. But what I know from waking life is that um, it, the first one was done by the guy who invented that operation. That operation didn't exist before him. So he said to her, you probably only have a few years. It's not a perfect thing yet. But by the time they got to the third one, it was one of his students, and this guy was even better than the original guy, and he finished mm -hmm. it and said, you'll never need another one. This is mm -hmm. it. It's tight now. So he was actually better than the first guy's two attempts. Well, the, other, the other two were inferior in comparison. Well, they were inferior, but you have to take it with a grain of salt because there's nobody else on the planet that was doing... If he lived anywhere else in the world, they would have just said your aorta is going to blow and deal with that. And here's a guy who said, yeah. I can probably patch yeah. that up. Yeah, I don't mind that. We want to deal with it in terms of the third paragraph. So, and the third paragraph is me. Yeah. I'm confused. I can't really be clear with her about the GERD and why the surgery didn't help. I have a question myself. If I had had that surgery, then it should have helped. And also, I don't know how the SSRI, how the anxiety medicine relates either. So I'm, I'm giving her what I know, except I'm not telling her that I myself have questions about it. About being there? Uh, about why I was there in the past, and what you're saying is also, therefore, why am I trusting them in the future? Yeah. Why are they there? Right. Right. Like they have, they have to answer those points for you to move in a rational direction. <clears throat> yeah. You're not to finish it. I'm not confronting them. Yeah. Still not confronting them. Yeah. Yes. Time to confront. Yeah, it is. Yeah, why are you having the dream? Because we had this talk before. I, I still haven't talked to my boss and told him okay. what game he was playing. Okay. I mean, I figure I'm gone and I can just walk away. I don't really don't want to confront him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make any enemies. Okay. Yeah, but that's what it's saying. Yeah. But... See, the implication for the dream, at least in, if the analogy from the dream is, in some sense, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. I'm still going back. Mm -hmm. But I don't see how that would apply in real life. I'm not going back. I'm working for someone else completely differently now. Well, but so the is, I'm detached now. You're detached in one sense, in another way you're not. How so? You mean psychically? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really have to be prepared for people being unhappy with me, regardless of what I say. That's right. Yeah. And do it for myself. Just yeah. claim it. 
Okay. Thank you. But it's like you're shelving the logo. I'm shelving the logos. Oh, you mean with my mom's notebook? Yeah, and you, you're worried about taking the time of the nurse rather than, like you have a question about why you still have GERD if you have the surgery, but you don't put that into words. What the, you don't put your question into words. Right. So you have a question. And if you well, don't put it into words, you're not I mean, I think what, what, yes, I think what we've concluded is that I could put it into words, but I could also say, why the hell am I even here? Yeah. Yeah, you Either could one ask would work. That. But see that's see that's the problem, Pierre, is like if I don't go back to the hospital, that's that that means what again with the barking You know, do I still have to say something to them even if I don't go back? <laughs> or can you just not go back to the hospital? Did you, intent, did you find that there were failures there? Yeah. You were there for a checkup or something. Should they know that there are failures there? You know... Should he know that I think he's living in the middle of failures? Every time I tried to point out to my father as a kid how he was a failure, I got drawn into a long debate where he would wear me down. But now you don't have to put up. He with never that. agreed. So you can't tell certain people that they're a failure. No. They will not Hold it. We accept don't it. Hold it. We don't care whether they accept it or not. All we care about is the effect on you. I know, but they... That's all. But they always get the last word in. Uh, no, no. The last word doesn't mean a damn thing. Except in your house. Apparently. Yeah. Well, I'd rather just not go there. Like, it's, it's like they just, and that's what my boss did. I, tried, I did try talking with him a week ago. And he had a response for every single thing I said. And I'm like, fine, whatever. I'm like, and then he walks out all smiley like he won again. I fucking hate these bastards. People who think, you know, it doesn't matter how bad you tell them how incompetent they are. They walk away smirking. It really pisses me off. We all know people like this. What it, didn't you tell I them? don't feel like what I've done. What did you tell them? Well, that very you, thing. You that, are, that you have an answer. Finish it. You have an answer for everything. But what about the answers? Did any of them satisfy you? No. Did you let them know? No. And I didn't accuse him of the stuff that he's really the worst at. I could have nibbled around the bushes with it. So what did you go to? He came in my office. All right. What did he want to know? Why did he come in your He wanted to just shoot the shit, because he's that kind of guy. He has nothing to do. Oh. You're good buds, huh? Something like that. That's what he is. He's everybody's good bud. No, well, what an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hasta mañana. Oh, there you go. You're gone. What time is where? Oh, well, what the question is? What time is where?